We're out here in Missouri with the McBees getting the farm set up. We are setting up our blinds, our towers, our cameras, everything that we are going to use for those summer months patterning these years. It is early summer here in Missouri and it is 100% legal to use corn prior to deer season coming in. This is nice because it will allow us to gain inventory and see what deer might be living in the area. We are not planning on coming back until mid-December, which means this corn will obviously be long gone. At that point, we will be relying heavily on food plots and standing crop to find these big deer. set up. Let's see what's coming in here. All right, so we just got done setting up a bunch of cameras on this new farm um, here in Missouri. So pretty excited to see what shows up. They're all cell camps, so we should know hopefully within a couple of days maybe what's on the farm. And we're about to head further west um, from Missouri and hunt Nebraska, New Mexico, and Kansas, and then hopefully come back to the opener if there's a big giant showing up. So it's kind of the plan. We'll see how it turns out. It's the first morning here in Missouri, and we are so excited to get out to the farm. Unfortunately, when we got out there, we saw evidence of trespassing everywhere these people had chairs in our blind trash dip cans cameras all over this farm tree stands climbers roads from where they were driving this is every hunter's worst nightmare great another trespasser this is what happens when you trespass as you can tell i am furious. Well, as mad as I am, we are here in Missouri and it is deer season and we've still got big bucks on other farms. So we're going to get back to the drawing board and get back out in the woods. here in Missouri hunting with our friends Stephen and Jesse McBee and we have had an incredible morning so far we've seen five bucks one really 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 nice shooter he just didn't come in in probably about 10 to 15 does so it's really cold but it's making for an awesome first sit here in Missouri And this is actually our sixth sit here in Missouri, so our third full day. And hopefully we see something. Tonight we are sitting over, well, we were supposed to be sitting over beans, and of course they picked them like an hour ago. But luckily we do have radishes right behind us, so we're hoping that the radishes bring the deer in. Even though Josh picked one and ate the deer's food, so now they're going to starve. Look at him. 
The deer activity for the first few days here in Missouri was pretty uneventful. Luckily, by day five, the weather and the wind switched, which allowed us to hunt our favorite farm that we called the Fence Gap. The Fence Gap is our favorite farm because our number one target buck lives here. He is a huge nine pointer, super, super wide, and we're really hoping this wind lets us get in there and get this big buck. It's December 15th here in Missouri, and I'm super excited because we're hunting one of our farms that we actually got all set up over the summer. We built the blind, so it's really rewarding to finally have a good wind to be able to hunt this farm. And there are some stud deer coming in here and in daylight too, but we haven't been able to hunt it just because of the wind. And we were smart, we stayed out of here. It was very tempting to come in here because these deer have been in daylight, but we didn't want to screw it up. And so today is the first day where we've got a south wind and we're hoping the deer that we've been seeing on camera come in. There's a 10 pointer in here with a kicker and there's a huge nine pointer as well. So I'll shoot out of one that comes in. <laughs> Hopefully one of them does. I'm really excited, very excited. And we have good wind here for the next few days. So if I don't get one tonight, we will be back. And then if I do get one, then we'll be back for Josh. It's a win-win. We got in super early for this sit and the first few hours were pretty slow, but then that golden hour hit and it all changed. That one in the back is dead. That one's a 44. So I really, really, really wanted that wide nine. However, we have been hunting for five days already. It's coming down to the wire. It's almost Christmas and we're about to have to leave. So I'm definitely not going to pass an opportunity on this big tent that's in the field. I am hyper focused on getting the perfect shot at this big 10 when all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I caught some movement. I cannot believe it. The big wide nine that we are here in Missouri hunting, our number one target buck is coming right at us.
those four bucks in here for like 20 minutes and I was gonna shoot one of them. And then I saw that big nine pointer come up. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a big one. And he came to 20 yards. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud of you. That was a giant. That was the number one hit list. I'm so proud of you. I was so nervous about the pit. And the blood, not a lot of it. I'm just so grateful to be here. Down. Oh my goodness, I can just not, I can't thank our friends Stephen and Jesse enough for letting us come hunt with them and giving us one of their farms to just hunt and leaving beans for us and helping us with our blind and everything. They're just, they're really, really, really amazing friends. My husband for filming. Oh my gosh, this deer is incredible. He's so freaking cool. I can't believe he came out. 20 yards tonight. I've been here since Monday. It's Friday. And we've just, it's been slow movement. And it just all changed tonight. Oh my God. I cannot believe this deer. He's an old, old deer. I'm so wow. proud of you, babe. Oh my so gosh. Look at him. Oh, he's a giant. I know. What a big buck. That, that was, was a lot better than I thought. Yeah. Oh. Wow. wow. I was so nervous. I hardly found any blood. But found enough. <laughs> I'm so proud did of you. Did you see him before I did? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's, I had it rolling and everything. Oh, my God. Wow, baby. That is, is a old. monster. I know. Gosh, Dad, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Unreal. December 15th, 10 days before Christmas. <sighs> he came down to the water there. Now Josh gets to hunt. He's been filming me for like five days, so. 
Hey, you got it done, babe. I can't Great shot. This. Wow. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to join the bow hunting family, hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on notifications to be one of the first to see our new videos posted. If you're new to our channel, check out our other videos. We have over 70 bow hunts that I think you'll enjoy. And if you'd like to keep up with us daily, make sure you go over to Instagram and give us a follow there, where we post every single day and it's always outdoor related.